Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Now today, I'm once again answering some of your questions, such as what is the highest quality perpetual calendar under $25,000? Are Patek and AP prices in a slump? And have I ever personally got caught up in the hype and bought a hype watch? That answer might surprise you. All that and more in today's episode. But of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my H. Moser Pioneer on my orange strap. Perfect for summer. Absolutely love this watch. And also, guys, go check out DelrayWatch.com. We just got in an Omega Seamaster Aqua Timer World Timer, one of the hottest Omega models at the moment, cheapest one, uh, cheapest one on earth as is gonna be the case for the other two watches I mentioned. A Breguet Type 21 Flyback, some high horology chronograph, well under $7,000, actually well, well under, crazy price for this watch. And one of my personal favorites, a Piaget Altiplano 43 millimeter in white gold. Modern size, in-house micro rotor movement, company I used to work for, and the price, well, the price is just ridiculous. All that and more at DelrayWatch.com. Link in the description below. The best place for a watch geek to buy a watch. Guys, these are some of the questions you asked me on my Instagram account. That's at Federico Talks Watches. Few times a month, a Q&A picture will pop up. You can ask your questions there. When I have enough questions, I remove it. Please do not DM me as I do not check them. And in no particular order, we start with, I don't give a Dan. Hey, Fed, love the content. What's the highest quality perpetual calendar moon phase for under $25,000? JLC? Question mark. Well, JLC is a fantastic option. And actually, I'm pretty sure you mean retail price, but being a pre-owned dealer and thinking pre-owned is just a better option anyway, I'm going to go $25,000 pre-owned. You get a lot more bang for the buck. JLC would be up there. A ton of JLC perpetual calendar options for that. I would look at a Glasuta Senator perpetual, something from Germany. Absolutely, very, very cool. And if you drop the moon phase requirement, you could get lucky and snag a Moser perpetual. Doesn't have a moon phase, but it's a very interesting perpetual calendar, very, very high quality. Um, it's pretty hard to find it at 25 or under, but it is possible, and if you squeeze an extra thousand or so, you you may get it no problem, but definitely possible under 2,500 if you look hard enough or hunt around. Nick and Nax, is the Vacheron pricing correction a leading indicator for Patek and AP? Overseas pricing is close to retail, yet Nautilus and Royal Oak remain relatively unchanged. Nick and Nax, I appreciate the question, but no offense, are you blind? AP, Royal Oak, and Nautilus prices have not remained relatively unchanged. They've crushed, they've gone down massively. Now, yes, Vacheron Overseas is relatively close to retail because it was the closest to retail to begin with, even on the high side. And Royal Oaks and Nautiluses are still a well above retail, but in some cases they have been priced. So, yeah, the Vacheron pricing correction is an indicator, but... Patek and AP have also moved, so, and I mean this with no offense, uh, the question makes no sense. They're not unchanged. Everything's gone down in these three watches. So I guess the answer to your question is a yes. Ryan Countryum, love the channel fed. Thank you. Have you ever got caught up in the hype and bought a watch or a watch trend because it was hot? Yes, twice, even though I'll defend one and I won't defend another. The first one was Panerai. I bought Panerai when it was super hot. I thought it was super cool. I bought three of them. I still actually own two Panerai, and to defend it, I still really like them. I'm not going to call them the most horologically significant, but I got them at a good price. I like the design. I like the history. I'm Italian. I still wear them. I still like them. But I also bought a steel and ceramic Hublot Big Bang when that was hot. And that was all hype all the time. What a piece of steaming garbage that was. But I'm not immune. We all make mistakes. It's part of collecting. Duke JJZ. Are most watch dealers now only accepting trade-ins for something else in their inventory instead of paying cash? 
I tried to sell a few pieces, Panerai, Rolex, Cartier, and JLC, and no one wants to offer cash. Is this due to the recession? Well, Duke, um, we buy all those pieces of Delray watch, so reach out to us. We'll pay cash. A lot of dealers don't buy JLC and Panerai because of the recession now. Um, but I think you're particularly probably talking about Crowning Caliber and Hodinkee because I've been getting a ton of emails from people that are offering Crowning Caliber and Hodinkee stuff and they're only offering trade-in values towards something else instead of paying them out cash. I can't talk about any other dealer in the industry, I don't know, but I know Crowning Caliber and Hodinkee are only taking trade-ins and leases of yesterday um, on most models. And yeah, it is due to the recession. They're probably over leveraged, but not all dealers are like that. I will pay you cash for all these watches. It depends how much cash you want, of course. But um, but yeah, we're still definitely buying watches. Bungistan Headquarter. Hey, Fed, thanks for your great work. I just couldn't resist the purchase of another Degree Zogano watch. Did you ever come across one? I'd love to hear your comment, even if you dismiss them. I've come across a few, and I've sold a few, and for the most part, I really like them. De Grisogono makes two types of watch. Well, everything they make is quirky when they were still in business, but they made their really overpriced Edo watches, and they made their quirkier, more complicated stuff. I like them all. The designs are out there. They're crazy. They're nuts. They're massively expensive. They're worth about 10 cents to the dollar if you try and sell them. I'm not going to dismiss them. If I ever see someone wearing a Degree Zogano, I'm going to give them a high five for originality, coolness, and because they're a real watch geek, I just really hope you got a good deal. Really hope you got a good deal. Anyway, guys, shorter video today. That's it for me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it, really does help. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.